is that? The morning food bot mixed Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, my love. Oh, it's doing, it's doing Come on, baby. Look how beautiful. Look at all poopies. Look how beautiful. Aww. Come on, Chilo. Come on, Chilo. This is the mama, the proud mama. Is her beautiful? Yes, very nice. <laughs> Hello, my Chilo. I didn't see you come. Are you coming that way? You look beautiful. Let me get you. Are you coming that way? Uh huh. I lost the directions and I was like, where's pizzazz? I told him I had an appointment and I was late. I said, we're right around the corner. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. God, Mama. Yeah, this morning I, I couldn't find my bag. I thought I had to go out this morning and buy all new stuff. How do you feel today? It's a big day. <laughs> it's so very, very nice, bro. It's real good. Such a mature girl. <laughs> I just started what I'm going to say tonight. I just started writing it down. i got to get back and finish it. Well, I might have to finish it right up there. You look very beautiful. How do you feel today? You okay? You nervous at all? Yeah, and I'm hungry. You're hungry? Oh. We'll get you something to eat, my love. This is the way right next door, so that's what I'm saying. Look at It looks beautiful, bro. <laughs> Did you pick your hair out of, like, a magazine or something in the magazine? Which one? This one? That's you. Is that the front? No, and that's beautiful. Um, Tell me, sure enough, this. This is cool. Very nice. 101 hairstyles. I love you, my sweet baby. You say hi to Juliet. You couldn't be here today. Juliet says hi, boy. Say hello to her. Hello. Say hi, Juliet. Hi, Juliet. She can grow her sugar. Good. You look beautiful though. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice indeed. You see, look at her. Very nice. It's amazing how civil we can act in public. Hello, my sweet baby. Amazing. Hi. What? No. That's pretty. the ladies in public, too. Hello, my sweet dad. Say hello to Juliet. Hi, Juliet. You're always sugar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello. She wants to be here so bad. Juliet says, I want to go. Say hello to Susan. Hello, Susan. Hello, Sophie. And hello, darling. Very sweet baby. Flip big day. One of her big days. And that's going to be when she's accepting, accepting the candidacy of her. President, Miss President of the United States. I have no shoes. Huh? I have no shoes. You do? You do? Which shoes do you have? These ones? One of these. Um, you have those gray ones. Same color? I mean, different color. Those are nice new cards, brothers. Your shoes? They're really, like, soft and soft. Really? Look your hair. Go. Sal, Sweet Sal, Poopy. What? Let me see your dimple. Ah, oh, that's good dimple. <laughs> Very nice. Do you want that? Who is that, sir? Uh, 
That's nice of you, Sarah. You're a nice person. You're a very giving person. Nice. Hi. How are you? We don't rush her. Let her take her time. From you, sir, I know I told her that you like to give it to her, but that I didn't know what, when you would come back and that, you know, what if she left for lunch or something and then you couldn't find her. What's wrong, right. Bob? She needs some space, that's why. No, I thought I just want to go out in public like this. What's wrong with that? What do you, it, celebrities go out like that all the time in public. None of you are, right? Yeah, sure. Who says you're not? No one knows, no one knows you're not a celebrity. <laughs> right? Are you sure what? Brooke, it's going to fall back in place, baby, by tonight. Yes, I'm going to make you wear like that laser tag. <laughs> you mean, if I could wear a tux every day, I would. You know, you have to live life until but it's we go too much to money. Toilet, right? You can't just, like, hide in the house. You go with somebody and get me something. We see this later when you come back this summer, when you come over in spring break. Really. Is a good sandwich? Hi, Juliet. It's Stella. She's eating her famous turkey sandwich. <laughs> turkey dry. That's she has to give me turkey dry. God, I love that. Turkey dry. Mm. Lemonade. Mm-hmm. Mm. And look at Stella. Another toy. Another toy. And, and a cookie and oh. napkin. Oh. Cool. It's oh, beautiful here. Do my sweet baby. Is Mama going to do some makeup tonight? Do a makeup, right? Looks good, bro. Looks really good. Never be like that. I'm pretty happy. What do you want? You want me to do it? Look at that
Dean is really experienced the feeling of family that we want to celebrate tonight as we bring in the feeling of Shabbat. And this is a, such a special time in Brooks' life. We'd like everybody to refrain from talking to each other or leaving the synagogue at any time during the service. We want to really bring in a lot of spirit when we pray. Be sure to pray with Ruach, the Shabbat spirit, and to sing with our cancer be destroyed, Irish Shore. So you know that God is hearing you. We're going to begin our Shabbat experience with Cancer Read Ashore leading you in a to help you relax and feel closer to God and to Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom everyone. Welcome to Temple Judea. We are here to infuse our spirits with the spirit of Shabbat. We want to welcome the Sabbath with joy. We want to celebrate this evening with Brooke uh, for her bat mitzvah. And we want to begin the service with a nigun, with a song without words, because there's no better way than to get the feeling and the energy of Shabbat than to use our voices in praise to God, because everything began with the breath. Creation started with the breath, and we, we need to use our breath in order to sing. So I want to sing the Nigun of the month for you, and then we're going to have a Nigun review. This is not a book review. This is a Nigun review, and I would like everybody to sing along with me. This is how it goes. <laughs> Thank you. 
We continue with celebration on page 84, where we remember that part of the spice, the special taste of Shabbat, is remembering that the angels of Shabbat inhabit our homes and our synagogues every week at this special time. Shalom Aleichem, page 84, in Hebrew and transliterated, our cantor will be up.
encountered Athena and Crooked Philomena in a prayer of celebration beginning in the middle of page 67. O source of light and truth, creator of the eternal law of goodness and the impulse within us for justice and mercy, we pray that this hour of worship may be one vision and inspiration. Help us to find knowledge by which to live. Lead us to take the words we shall speak into our hearts and our lives. We have come together to strengthen our bonds with the people of Israel. Like Jews of generations past, we celebrate the grandeur of creation. Like Jews of every age, we echo our people's ancient call for justice. Our celebration is a share of memory and hope. We are Jews, but each of us is unique. We stand apart and alone with different feelings and insights. And yet we are not entirely alone and separate, for we are children of one people and one heritage. Our celebration unites many separate And we are one in search of life meaning. All of us grow in spirit and exaltation. All bear birth. All have moments of weakness and times of strength. All things songs of sorrow and love. May our celebration bring us strength to all our labor. In this circle of hope, in the presence of the sacred, may the heart come to know itself and its death, finding a fresh impulse to love the good. May our celebration be a
the mystical, lived by God's commandments, and add holiness to her life. The Ahasta Prophet 76. Mihahasta <laughs>
From Egypt, the house of bondage, we were delivered as Sane, a mid field of thunder. We bound ourselves to your purpose, inspired by prophets and instructed by sages. We survived oppression and exile, time and again, overcoming the forces that would have destroyed us. May this vision never fade. Let us continue to work for the day when the nations will be one at peace. Then shall we sing with one accord as Moses, Miriam, and Israel sang at the shores of the sea.
Comer assadinho também. Ver também a cor. Joker assim. Avô e marro e meli lua. Lodei brenha. Lama on chamou bacaba. Mela ou der e mochia e maguen. Avô ata a noi maguen abraham da andra sara. Atahi bor lil lam ata noi na kaye hoko. Ata rab na hoshia na kokia. Hayom bachetan na kaye hoko. Arachamin Rabin, Tomeach Nozlin, Verofe Cholin, Umartir Asulin, Umkayin Elunato, Lashene Afar, Mi Hanoka, Baal Dururu, Umad Domela, Melech Mesmit, Umkaye, Umatnia Yeshua, Vene Aman Ata, Lachakayot Hako, Baruch Ata Adonai Mekaye Hako. Your might, O God, is everlasting. Help us to use our prayers for good. You are the source of life and peace. Help us to choose the life for ourselves and our children. You are the support of the fallen. Help us to lift the fallen. You are the author of freedom. Help us to free the captives. You are our hope in death as one. Help us to pray for those who us. Your might, O God, is everlasting. Help us to use our strength for good. Look and I will now stand before the ark as we continue with silent prayer through page 8.
strength, strengthen our heart of self-sacrifice for our nation's welfare. Teach us to uphold its good name by our own right conduct. Make us to see that the well-being of our nation is in the hands of all its citizens. Imbue us with the zeal for the cause of liberty in our own land and in, and in all lands. And help us to always keep our home safe from affliction, strife, and war. Amen. And Aunt Robin will lead us in a prayer for Israel. We pray for the land of Israel and its people. May its borders their peace, its inhabitants tranquility. And may the bonds of faith and faith which unite the Jews of all lands be a source of strength to Israel and to all of us. God of all lands and ages, answer our constant prayer with a Zion, with a Zion. Once more glow with the light of us and all for the world. And let us say, Amen. Now we need to turn to the very back of our prayer book. You'll see Amisha Beira, and this is a beautiful custom that comes from Judea and thousands of synagogues all over the world. In times of joy, we remember people who need healing. And first I'm going to share with you names that were given to me for healing. And then of course, if anybody has a name they wish to share, please add the name um, as I point my arm around our synagogue. We come on a regular Friday night. Our chairs are in an arena style. We have a new ritual called the Healing Sukkah. So if you come on a regular Friday night, you'll be able to actually go under a giant talit as we pray for healing and hope. Tonight we pray for Corey Shore, Evelyn Peters, Janet Strauss, Maria Jacobson, she's doing much better, Matthew Novick. And if you love history, 
you'll be surprised, or you already know, that women did not vote in the United States. You know, we had so much about voting in this past election. Women did not vote until 1918. So that's a while. Many, many elections, only men voted. So after women won the right to vote, it took them probably 50 years to achieve that through lots of demonstrations and petitions. It was a rabbi that only had one daughter. And he and his wife had one child, child with daughter. They decided that she should have the same right as a young man. And they created Rabbi Mordecai Kaplan, with the help, I'm sure, of his wife, Hannah created the Bat Mitzvah. And this Bat Mitzvah, because I know that when Brooke and I and Jordy, our president, were standing in the office, and Jordy was saying, Brooke, don't worry. Very few people really know that you were from the Torah, and if you make a mistake, it's okay, right? Well, with the first Bat Mitzvah, Judith Kaplan, there were a hundred rabbis present because her father was a professor at the Jewish Theological Seminary. Could you imagine how scary that was because they knew the whole Torah. <laughs> so, it's really a delight to have you here and we're going to begin with a ceremony called the Transmission of Torah from one generation to the next. So I'm going to call up Brooke's grandparents, Marlene and her, and Brooke's mom, Terry, we're going to have three generations now receiving the Torah. And then when Brooke comes to the congregation, Larry and Sarah are going to join her and marching around our synagogue. Sarah is going to hold the Torah ornaments and remove them. The Torah has special ornaments to remind us of our ancient temple in Jerusalem. Much is written about our temple these days through the Temple Mount and the Wall in our holy city. So we're on page 142 of our film. Page 142, and as Grandma and Grandpa open the ark, we now rise. <clears throat> in the middle of the page, we pray together, where it begins with Source of Mercy. Together, Source of Mercy, let your goodness be a blessing to Zion. Let Jerusalem be rebuilt. In you alone do we trust, the sovereign God, high and exalted ruler of all the world. Let us declare the greatness of our God and give honor to the Torah. For out of Zion shall go forth Torah and the word of God from Jerusalem. Praise be the one who in holiness gives Torah to our people Israel.
do very special honors in the synagogue who called Gabayim. And Gabayim are very practical in the Ashkenazic tradition. The Ashkenazic tradition, the Torah is read on a table. And if any of the rollers fall to the floor, people have to fast for 40 days and 40 nights or give a tremendous amount of money to Tzedakah. So we have two special people holding either rollers called Gavaya. And our Gavaya, we're not able to come tonight, but we have wonderful Gavaya, special friends also of Brooke, Jennifer Scher and Daniel Hauser. So they're going to join us now on the program.
down in a chair in a portion of the process called the Hastara. And this portion of the process contains a very relevant section for all of us. It's from 1 Kings chapter 2. And Brooke is going to proceed her Hastara with blessings of the prayer book on page 146. Joseph and his Technicolor Dreamcoat. That is at the beginning of the Joseph story. 
when Joseph was a very spoiled child. Now at the point, Joseph is called a Yiddish a mensch, a human being of great stature, a maker of mitzvot, of commandments, a doer, a peacemaker. And this is the portion that Brooke has studied by a king for her about mitzvah. She is now going to present to you her Devar Torah, her word of Torah. When Joseph was on his deathbed, his one request to his family was for them to carry his bones to the promised land. This story teaches that you should carry out traditions wherever you live or whatever you choose to do in your life as a Jew. Joseph's bones in your family can be, can be ritual objects, prayers, or customs. The bones in my family are, and the north from Aunt Helen, who is my grandma's sister, a star of David necklace passed down from my great grandma Jakey, a candelabra passed down from my great grandma Yes. Carrying out the bones of Joseph means, Lighting a set of candles away from home and devil on his two-kid birthday. Giving your daughter her tally when it's her vomit, but it was every Jewish holiday every year. Continuing my Jewish education so I will know how to live a Jewish life means going to catch your eighth grade in confirmation. I need to learn about Judaism so I can make intelligent spiritual choices in life. First of all, I would like to thank the rabbi for teaching me all my prayers for the special day, the cantor Rita and I were sure for the beautiful music, Sherry Freelander for having a great religious school that taught me how to read Hebrew. All the teachers that I've ever had, including Mr. Bennett, who helped me master the English language. Peter Schneider, who also helped me with my Hebrew. The following people for being so tired of my mom's crazy schedule. Bob Keenan, my mom's former employer, and Nick and Alan Paladino, who are her bosses now. They let my mom leave work early in order to get me to my Hebrew classes for the past three years. Oh yeah, my mom was that funny. <laughs> I would also like to thank the Sherry family for carpooling us and handling it much easier. I'd like to thank my grandparents for their care and kindness, my sister Sarah for not being annoyed all the time when I was trying to study, and my mom and dad. I wouldn't be here without your love and support. And last but not least, all my friends who came today. Now I know who my real loved ones are. Yeah, you go, girl. <laughs> now I'm going to take Brooke and bring her to the art with some special private words. And a blessing, our candy will do so too, then we'll receive your special gift. <laughs>
Brooke, I want to base my talk to you on verse 4 of your Haftarah. And it's really remarkable that you read this, not all Haftarot, portions from the prophets are so insightful and relevant to a young woman, a teenager. As God said, if your children are careful how they live and walk before me faithfully with all their heart and soul, one of your descendants will always rule Israel. And this teaches us that we are all special, we are all a key to what our Jewish mystic calls Tikkun Olam, the repair of the world. In order to repair this world, look, you have to be careful where you go. You have to be careful about the choices you make. You have to be careful about the circle that you are friendly with. You have to be careful how you act in college and how you act during the summer months when you are more independent and away from your parents. And as the prophets remind us, if you make Jewish choices and broke, if you take these bones of Joseph, these special family rituals, heirlooms, candlesticks, kiddushka, the gifts that you're going to receive today, the trip to Israel, I hope in a few years that you will make. Truly, Brooke, that you will affirm your love of God and your faith in humankind in each of us and the practice of Judaism that you want to make real one day when you will give that Torah to your own son or daughter and continue transmitting the bones of Joseph to the next generation. And to help you do that, there are so many gifts that we have for you. You're going to receive now a voucher for $600 from the Jewish Federation of Palm Beach County and a voucher of $250 from the North American Federation of Temple Youth. You can cash them in when you are in high school. It's $850 to towards a trip to Israel. And when we look at what the community trips charge, they're heavily subsidized. Our current community trip is about $1,600. So you're well on your way with $850 already towards a trip to Israel. Also, your bat mitzvah certificate, and you promised in my study before our president, Jordy Brown, your parents, and our candor to live the Jewish life and to engage in Jewish rituals and to repair the world. I also have two special books to give you in addition to your mitzvah certificate that you have performed your mitzvah this year, your 18 mitzvah to help make real your bat mitzvah. But these are two special books. And Temple Judea is one of the few congregations where our young people receive them. And they're so useful. Because why give a young person a book that they're not going to read? Years ago, uh, we used to give these philosophical books to our teenagers. And it wasn't going to help them until many years ahead. So this book is called Lost and Found. It's a kid's book for living through loss. And it's by Rabbi Mark Gelman and Monsignor Thomas Hartman. They are known in New York as the God Squad. It's a rabbi and a Catholic priest. And they wrote a very special book for teenagers and young adults, How to Cope with Losses, All Kinds of Losses in Life and Disappointment. And during the teenage years, book, this is what happens. We have disappointments, we cry, we are confused, we don't know where to turn to, and this book will really help you every step of the way. And then, when you're really doubting Judaism, this comes maybe when you're a senior in high school and in college, how to get more out of being Jewish. If you finally decided you didn't like anything of your Jewish past, this book gives humor, hope, and it's also key to America Online, now Time Warner, America Online, Time Warner, and the Internet. So you can turn on your computer, use this book at the same time, and really feel really good about being Jewish. And now, to give you some further gifts, I want to call Hannah Ruth. 
representing our religious school, Gail Brown, representing the women of Islam Judaism, and Dan Heller, representing Brotherhood. Barbara Bailey is here. Oh, good. Barbara Bailey is president of the Women of Reform Judaism.
eating and beer that she's going to be fucking and fumbling to get me off of her life, out of her life and off her back. And, and I'm going to hang on. And I'm just gonna, this is a great ride. And um, I think she's an amazing human being with the gift of bringing happiness into her life. She just has special insight and she's so neat and cool to talk to. And, and I'm just so proud of her today. And I love her so much. I guess you kind of listen to what I was going to say. Um, I'm just, I'm blown away, you know, I mean, I'm Brooke's dad, but of course I don't live here. And to see her go to this, like, you know, I videotaped as a professional cameraman, lots of bar and lot misses here, and I just think this was the best one. <laughs> I'm just blown away, and what a point, too. <laughs> but I must say, um, you know, 13, as a matter of fact, to today, 13 years, in about three days, you know, probably during the worst storm in, in Brooklyn's history, uh, and a little hospital there, you know, there's a little voice that cried out. And um, that voice was Brooke Tchaikovsky. You know, I mean, we're working this recently. And um, it's just amazing. You know, I was a proud father that day. I was on fire, you know, and, and I've always been a proud father. And, you know, just to come back here today, it just even shows me even more, you know, I mean, still a proud father. And I think she did great. And I must say, this isn't the last time that Brooke is going to do a little public thing here. I think, I think Brooke is, I think God has planned for her. I think she's going to be out there and she's going to make a name for herself and make a mark, you know, for the world. I really believe that. And I really think that uh, better things are, are to come in her life. And, you know, they say Stevie Wonder is blind, but I, I think you can see, because I think you wrote that song about Brooke, Isn't She Lovely? <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. I love you, Yeah. Let's go on to the line. I'm going to go back here. Stay on the phone with a lot of celebrating for the spot. Yeah. 
now let us bow our heads, grateful to God for a wonderful evening of blessing. <laughs>